Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and not, normally I do Bible journaling, but today I'm doing a Bible craft all week. I'm sharing different Bible crafts for Christmas, and today it's Advent calendars. There's two of them. This is an easier one, so I'll share that first. There's a download in the description down below here on YouTube, so you may need to click the Show More button and print these out and trim them along those outside lines, and you're going to slip these into these little glassine bags. There's going to be a link for the glassine bags as well in the description. And you're going to put the number one and then the number one Bible verse into the bag. And I recommend putting an activity on the back of it, especially if you have children, with something to do. Now look at a calendar and figure out what are weekend activities and what are evening activities the kids can do after school, etc. But they'll open one of these and find out what the activity is to do for that day put both of them in there with the little note hidden as to what the assignment is to do that day. And you'll do that with all 24 of these little bags, 25 come in a packet. And I've also picked up these really cute little teeny tiny uh, clothespins. Couldn't find the word clothespins in my brain. Fold over the top, there's no adhesive on them, and then just clip it closed. And I'm, I'm gonna do that with all 24 of them. I got a really cheap frame. This one I got from Dick Blick. It's an 11 by 14. And if you're ordering stuff that makes the shipping worthwhile, it's really inexpensive because there's no glass in this. It's actually some kind of an acrylic thing. It has a plastic cover on it so you can peel that off. And it works as a frame, but we're gonna temporarily use this frame to create the holder for the rest of this advent calendar. And you can do this with any frame that you have if you find one at a thrift store or something, you're just going to put tacks in the back of it and then put some string on it in sort of an S or Z formation, whichever it works out better for you. And you can measure them and make them really specific, but it depends on the size of the frame that you've got going. And then hang these on the little string that you've put across it. And each day as you pull out that number, have the kids or you color that number and that will help you keep track of what day it is. We'll make a little fun activity to do each day. The second advent calendar is a little more complex. I'm going to use a Wilton mini muffin tin and this is metal so magnetic material is going to stick onto that but only one side of the magnetic sticks so you got to figure out which side that is. Make sure you use that right side up when you end up doing the correct parts of this project. And you can put all kinds of things inside the holes after you finish making it. So you can put candies in there, you can put little Bible verses in there, you can put things to do in there, little slips of paper with things that you would like to do on that day to get ready for Christmas. I'm punching out circles that are a little bit bigger than the circles that are made by those holes. And you can see they all stick to the front of this. And then it's a matter of decorating them. I'm going to use some Be Creative tape sheets, which is a, a double stick tape, but it's in sheet form. You can use all different kinds of things to put adhesive on the back of it. So the front side is sticky. I peeled off one side and then I put some cardstock down on it. And then I'm going to punch the same size circles as I punched from the magnet. So eventually I'm going to stick these onto the fronts of each one of the magnets and decorate them. You can decorate them with all different kinds of things. You can use stickers, you can use scrapbook paper, whatever you like. And I'm going to use these angels and stamp them onto here and color each one of them. And this is a stamp set from Pretty Pink Posh with darling little angels and they have little halos that you can put over them. I'm going to use some Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink which you can use with watercolorable materials or you can use Copic markers, you can use pencils with this ink. It's kind of a multi-use ink. But if you are new to stamping, this may be daunting to you. So just so you know, I'm doing every eighth one as each one of these stamps. There's eight Contact little angels in there, and I wanted them spread out across the whole thing. Change person, back to work. So it's that's why I have them all laid out, and I'm alternating them so that I don't have two of the same angel next to each other when I have them numbered. And I'll just get them all stamped out. I'm using an acrylic block because these clear stamps stick to an acrylic block and that way you don't have to have big stamps with wood backs on them so if that's what you think of when you think of wood stamps stamps have moved on and there are clear ones 
and that's pretty cool kind of a thing because I wanted to add halos to these. Each one is a little bit low in the circle so that I have room to add the halos on top. Um, one of the cool things about using acrylic stamps and these blocks is that you can see through the block so you can line up a second thing like the, the uh, halo to stamp on top. And I'm going to use these markers. They're water-based markers. They're called twin tip markers. They have a brush nib on one side and a writing nib on the other side. And I'll use both for this project. If you choose, you could also just stamp all the angels in red and green inks and not do any coloring. And it's really up to how you want to decorate the circles on this one for your advent calendar. I'm even using a brush and I scribbled some of the water-based ink onto a piece of acetate off the screen there and I watercolored on top of it so I could get a really light blue. And now I'm using the writing nib, the bullet point nib on the end of the marker to put the numbers for each of the 24 days. Peel off the backing that I put on earlier, stick them onto the circles and then I could put them on here tucking the candies or the notes inside of the advent calendar to be removed each day as the day passes. Now you can leave the muffin tin plain like this and have a silver one showing, but what I chose to do was to paint mine and I did this with several coats of white spray paint. And it kind of goes better with those white circles for the angels, but it really depends on your design, what's gonna work better for you. You could also try doing them in squares. I've seen them on Pinterest done with squares, and I decided to try mine with circles, but that could also be a great way to work it. So don't forget the download link for the first calendar is in the description down below. And the supplies for both of these are also listed down there, so you can get all of the instructions on how to make them. And then please be sure to continue joining me each day this week for a new craft. And then on Sundays for regular Bible journaling videos every Sunday morning. Thank you so much for taking some time and God bless you. I'll see you next time.